All right, so today you guys are gonna love me because I'm bringing you a fantastic summer cocktail. There is nothing more refreshing than this drink. Um, and it is using uh, Ahus uh, Aquavit. So uh, I'm not gonna get into like what Aquavit is. Actually on our channel, Barfly Freeport, we have a video where we actually go through a bunch of different Aquavits. Ahus was one of them. And uh, we do a little bit deeper of a dive. So you can definitely go there, click on the link and uh, you can kind of do a deep dive with us uh, into Aquavit. Um, but it is the national, it is the national spirit of Sweden, isn't it? I don't know. I mean, okay, so here's the thing. Aquavit comes from Sweden, Norway, and Denmark. They all have their own different styles. It is basically a uh, rectified spirit that is macerated with different elements. Uh, so Ahus is, uh, is um, macerated with fennel, Seville orange, lemon, caraway, rosemary. And it has a very, how would you describe the flavor of, of Aquavit? Uh, I mean, I would describe it as awful, but uh, it's- Okay, but you're not like a drinker. Right? It's, so it's, that it's was very, a terrible person. He was yeah. the worst person to ask that question. It was, uh, it's very like, it's like a, a niece. It's like a of, niece forward, yeah. botanical kind of, it's it's malty. It's kind of malty on the flavor on the on the palate. I I love it. I think it's like such a very interesting, wonderful flavor, um, and it makes great cocktails. Anyway, so uh, I was thinking. Anyway, this all kind of came about because I was thinking back to when I was in Coles the last time, or like one of the last times, and and my friend Melina Bickford, who is one of the brand ambassadors for uh, for uh, Ahus, came in to visit. And, and on one of those visits, she gave me this book, which was a cocktail book. Um, and in it are a bunch of uh, Ahus cocktails that are done by a, a, a consultant uh, by the name of Michael Bergstrom, uh, who apparently is pretty famous in Sweden. Uh, anyway, his cocktails are incredible. Uh, and um, Melina is a gr great friend of mine and I wanted to kind of make these cocktails because they were all on my mind today. And it is a math. Fantastic summer drink. So the drink is called Water on the Vine, and it uh, and it has cucumber in it, which nice. is I can't think of anything more refreshing than cucumber. No, cucumber is refreshing. Cucumber is it's refreshing. basically just water. Right. That's why it's called Water on the Vine right. because it grows on a vine. Uh, just to circle back to the Akavit. So I don't like it. Most people I know don't really like it. It's something you drink. For Christmas dinner, and you just take a shot and drink it because it tastes terrible. Nobody you just drink it that one time a year. But that's, that's Norwegian aquavit, not Swedish aquavit. Yeah, Swedish aquavit is. I, but I don't think they drink it much more than holidays, Christmas things either. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, tradition, yeah, it's, it's just something that people don't really like. That's what I grew up with. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I know well, it's very it has, trendy it, now. I don't know. I feel like you're trying to talk people out of... Out no, of... go try it. It's very trendy. It's just funny. It's just the spirit that they, everybody, the parents brought out for Christmas. And it's like, ask them, like, do you want Aquavit? Do you want... Everybody's like, no. Okay, well, maybe I gotta tell one. you, every single time I've had an Aquavit cocktail, it's been amazing. Yeah. I need to kind of cut you off now. Even though we get comments that are like, the bartender guy really should stop. Uh, ca camera guy. No, 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 no. Oh, the, cat the last couple of times, the, the, the last couple of videos, or on the last video we uh -huh. did, somebody, a couple of people, somebody said, just one person said, the bartender guy needs to stop interrupting Marius. And then nice. I commented, LOL, and there were 49 thumbs up on, on nice. that. Nice. <laughs> so evidently, not only do I interrupt you a lot, but people want me to stop. <laughs> you do. <laughs> I do. I, I don't know. I'm a little bit of an Points. interrupter. I try not to be, yeah. but I am a little bit of an interrupter. Right. There's one thing that I'm missing from this though. So we are we might have to do a jump cut because I hate, you know what it, my pet peeve is, is when I forget something, then I got to go to the refrigerator and get it. And I leave it in? Yeah. And you leave it in. It, I hate it. I absolutely. Just be quicker. Well, yeah, but then I got to like, be, then I ha then I have to like, know where I put the thing that I'm looking for. What are you looking for? And my my fridge is increasingly filled with syrups and things. So, all right, now let's actually make the drink. I have, a, this is a pebble ice drink and it's gonna, it's gonna, it's, it's, it's going to rot on the vine if we don't make it. So first thing we're gonna do Ooh. is three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. Okay, then we're gonna do 
three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Then we're gonna do a fat one ounce, about 40 mils is what it is, a fat one ounce. Of cucumber juice. Of cucumber juice, sorry, yeah, of cucumber juice. And then we're gonna do... And it's with the, with the, the skin. That's why it's so green. I expect it to come out like super light. Really? And then we're gonna do two ounces of ahus. Yeah. Uh, we're shaking it with regular ice, but we're, 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 it's actually served on crushed ice. But the thing is, is that uh, we can't uh, like whip shake it because we're gonna do this like kind of technique. So I, I took a mandolin and I cut just like nice thin peels of cucumber. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna like try and stick this in in an artful way. I don't know how people do this. Yeah, there we go. Stick it in an artful way. Okay. Probably helps. I tried to cut it thin enough that it would stick to the thing. I know I just interrupted you. I'm sorry. What were you going to say? Classic. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say it probably helps if it's a little wet. You know, if it don't let it dry. Well, it is. You. It's basically water. Yeah. You even said it yourself. Yeah, but if I'm just like, trying to stick I, it I to the side of the glass. Here. How moist it is right now, but yeah. So then we do that, and then what we do is we. Keep it in place with a little pebble ice, like so. Then we take a little bit of ice, put it in our tin, add our cocktail to that tin, and give it a shake. And then, I'm not going to double strain it this time. It's fine. It's on crushed ice, so it doesn't really matter. Give it another little scotchy on top of there like that. God, I forgot so many things for this video. I man. know. So irritating. It's like, Jesus, you would think that I have not been doing this for very long. And then on my Surfside Zip that I forgot. We'll put it in here and let's give it a let's give it a taste. This looks this looks fantastic. Let me just mm -hmm. tell you, it looks fantastic. It smells good. Uh, it's a cucumber, I think. Oh, that is fantastic! Oh my god, I can't think of anything more refreshing than that. I mean, it's cucumber forward, but what's great about it is that the botanicals of the ahus come right through it. So you have this, like, this nice little botanical elements going in with that you know, cucumber, and then you have the simple syrup just balancing out the citrusy, the citrusy kick of the lime. It's not too tart, but it's not sweet at all. It's just fantastically good cocktail. Um, really, 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 really refreshing for the summertime. Uh, I don't know what more I can say about it other than that. The Water on the Vine by Michael Bergstrom. Uh, using Ahu Ahu Aquavit, uh, go get it, guys. Have you ever tried cucumber soda? Cucumber soda? Yeah, I have. Oh, There's yeah? a Japanese cucumber soda that's carried by this place called Galco's in uh, in uh, Highland uh, in Hi Hancock Park, which is no, not Hancock Park, Highland Park, which is uh, it's pretty awesome. Oh, okay. Yeah, have you been to Galco's? Nope. It's like an old. It's like a very old shopping mall. Not like a shopping mall. It's like a very old stuff. I want to say stop and shop, but nobody knows what that is. Basically, it's a very old, massive grocery store. Uh -huh. Like, you know, like, I don't know, like Ralph's or something, but an old one. And then inside it, all they sell is really hard to find candy from all over the world, right. really hard to find beer from all over the world, really hard to find soda from all over the world. And then there's a sub, there's like a little deli counter in the back, which is really cool. And then you can mix and match whatever you want. So you can just buy singles of everything. So you could take like a, an empty six pack, Mm -hmm. And put like singles of different weird sodas or different weird beers in there, and then and and you you know get all your candy from Japan and England, and then go home and have a very unhealthy uh, beer soda and candy fest. Nice. It's called Galco's. So if you guys are in LA at all, and you decide to go out all the way out to uh, Highland Park, I check out said, Galco's. I thought you said Hancock Park. I know, but that's not what I meant. Oh. I always get the two mixed up because of Hancock Highland. It's Highland Park. I'm sure the, high, on, 
The Highland Park people are very happy they mixed it up, but the Hancock no, people I don't, I, are not so happy. Hancock Park people, not so much. <laughs> but the Highland Park people, I, I know, I think that they're very proud of their neighborhood there, man. They don't want their, uh, they don't want their, they don't want to be like, they want to be like cool East Siders, do they? Don't want to be. But like, they also want to be a little. Well, I mean, it's getting gentrified. I don't know. It's on York Boulevard. I feel like this is going to be an explosive episode for a lot of different reasons. Yeah, it's an interesting one. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and all right. Well, I guess I'll see you guys on another time. So if you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. I don't know if you're going to do that after this video, but if you if you do and you like this, then hit like and subscribe and uh, check out our YouTube uh, memberships. We got that going on for some exclusive content, exclusive live streams, bloopers, weird things that I force Marius to uh, edit together and then give to them. Uh, also, when on the live streams, your name is much more prominently displayed and you have the use of custom emoji that we put up, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys another time.